Hello guys and welcome to TechWolf. In this video I am going to show you how to set up all environment and how to create a WordPress website from scratch. In this video also I will assume guys that you have no knowledge in creating websites in web development. What we will do is we will create everything from scratch. We will install server and I will be using XAMPP server. And if you are using also Apple guys don't worry because this server also works on Apple. And you will also be able to follow this tutorial and if you didn't know guys then just by knowing WordPress web development you can already make a living all you need is to know how to make websites and currently there are 40% of websites which you can find on internet they are built by using this content management system which is WordPress and guys already you have learned something CMS is content management system and WordPress is one of CMS and there is many other uh, different CMS or content management systems which you can learn to, to build websites like Drupal for example or Joomla and there is many more guys but WordPress is the most popular and I would recommend anyone any of my friends or anyone at all guys who would ask me how to create a website and how to learn to create a website is to learn a WordPress first or WordPress at all guys in general because you can straight away build your websites and once you have installed your environment what we will do in this video guys you can easily create one website after the other so guys let's stop talking and let's get into it and let's start by installing wordpress and let's start by installing notepad plus plus first thing what we will install is notepad plus plus so open just google and i will be doing everything with you type in notepad plus plus and click enter and you will see first download download notepad plus plus this is text editor which we will be using and we will just need it for some details not for much guys once you are here in downloads go here in latest release 7.8.3 just click on it guys and here click on this button download there's the box and click on this button download and it will download npp 7.8.3 installer.x and if you didn't know what does .x means this means that we have installed executable file which we will run on our computer and when we will run it it will easily install this notepad on our computer so let's click on this executable file and now you will see that computer will ask for permissions do you want to allow this software to run this file you say yes and first thing you will see here is you will be able to select language in which you want to use your notepad plus plus and obviously I will be using English click next and here welcome to notepad plus plus and click ne next and here we will obviously have to agree to install this on our computer and we are installing it on program files 86 notepad plus plus and click next and click next again guys create shortcut on desktop this will always allow you to easily open it I will not be creating a shortcut on desktop because I am always pinning this notepad here to my taskbar at the very bottom and this is also what we will do in a second so let's install now and let's finish run notepad plus plus and now it is opening up and this is how notepad plus plus looks guys when it's installed and we will be using it only for creating something or some files and you will also need notepad plus plus for programming as me myself i'm using this for programming different languages like php javascript html java sometimes i'm programming and node.js and many other programming languages which i know i use this simple text editor for programming and working with these languages after you have installed it and you will see it on the screen guys you can see you will see here at the very bottom on your taskbar this icon which is notepad plus plus icon just right click on it and pin to taskbar this will always in future will allow you to open notepad plus plus and start working with it easily and then you can close it down and next thing what we will be installing is wordpress and just open a Google search and type wordpress.org because we will be installing wordpress.org and there is two wordpresses there is wordpress.org guys and there is wordpress.com 
if you go wordpress.com this is not the same guys wordpress.com is for bloggers or where you can create your blogs and i will show you in one of my next videos how you can create blog but this doesn't give you so much power as with wordpress.org because wordpress.org is for web development for creating real websites when you have a full access to code and full access to do everything what you want with your website where wordpress.com is pretty much controlled by wordpress corporation guys so this is only for blogging and if you are planning to create a blog platform and like i said in next video i will show you how to use wordpress.com as well because it is also very useful for optimizing some of your links like me myself i'm op optimizing my youtube channel i have also a wordpress.org blog created where i am posting all my videos whenever i am uh, uploading them here on my TechWolf youtube channel once you are in wordpress.org here get started you will see a button get started click on this button get started and you will be redirected to this page and download wordpress 5.3.2 just click on this button guys and we don't need this hooray first thing only thing what we need is to download this wordpress.org guys and once we are done we have downloaded it there is another thing which we will need to download and this wordpress package has been installed on our downloads if we open up downloads for example i can show you straight away everything for some reason today is opening on my other window let's get into downloads and here you see wordpress 5.3.2 and these numbers at the end only mean the version which is the latest version of wordpress third thing and last thing what we will be installing it is a server and database server and we will be using a package which is called xamp type it in in google and you will see first this xamp installers and downloads for apache friends xamp is a package which includes like uh, support for php language because wordpress is programmed in php language and it also includes a support for mysql or mysql database it is also called now mariadb a free version is mariadb and the one version which is owned by oracle it is called mysql guys or mysql database but pretty much they both are the same and i would say that mariadb free version is even better than the one which is paid and which is owned by oracle because oracle actually bought that paid version from uh, mysql guys and mysql used to be also uh, absolutely free but now it's called mariadb which is free version and which is left on for everyone to use let's click in in here guys and i will i'm just trying to explain you all these things so you are aware what we are actually doing here here you have to select what operating system you are using i am using windows so i will be installing this one exam for windows if you are using linux and you can use also exam on linux guys you can install this one and if you are using mac os system you can install exam for os i will click on windows you install whatever operating system you are using and let's wait until this will download and here you will also see exam dash windows dash exam dot x and this is also executable file you are downloading always executable files for these programs so you don't need to download all software straight away on your computer and then try to install it on your computer executable file is pretty much a file with different commands which will after whenever you are executing it on your computer it runs these commands and installs this software on your computer itself what we will do right now guys as you see exam windows dot dash exe click on it do you want to allow this app to make changes on you to your device you say yes and it will start installer it will open up this installer setup of exam welcome to the exam setup wizard and first then once this is opened click next then we click next again here we see only where we are installing this program and pay, pay attention to this that we are installing it in c column backslash exam this will be folder where all this program will be installed on your computer and in this one file which will be called exam which will be on c i will show you this also a bit later in this video guys there will be your mysql database server and my the servers are also software they are not physical devices 
that are physical devices like for example rack servers or your computer are easy even a server but on those servers are installed another servers like mysql for example that is server database this is where everything will be installed so a support for php language also will be installed in this folder and there will be support installed for other things which we will not require so click next then click next and then you you will see ready to install setup is now ready to begin installing XAMPP on your computer you click next guys and now it will install XAMPP environment on your computer and like I mentioned guys XAMPP is not a server uh, here you can read even XAMPP is an easy to install PHP MySQL and so on and so forth many more things after you will install do you want to start the control panel yes and click finish when you are starting your comport control panel it will ask you language you you click English or any other language and click save this will come up and here is Apache server Apache server is needed and the Apache server is pretty much the same server which you are using when you are hosting your website and hosting provider also has Apache servers and this Apache server is running your PHP if you don't start your Apache server your PHP, you will not be able to create these websites or to run PHP because PHP and MySQL as you can see here it requires Apache server behind it so all hostings wherever you are hosting your websites they already have this apache server and my sql database so let's start apache server and here we click start uh, my sql database now all our environment is working so to check if your environment and your servers are running you just open in browser any window or open any browser and type in localhost and once you have typed in localhost you will see localhost forward slash dashboard because this is where it is redirecting you automatically by default because this is already on your computer now here at the bottom you will see this icon guys just right click on this icon and click pin to taskbar because every time when you whenever you will want to start working with your wordpress website you will need to start this control panel in this control panel your apache server and you will need to start your mysql database you can stop them at any time and if we will stop you will see that whenever now i am coming to dash local host you will see that there is nothing because this server is not running and php is not running as you can see this says this site can't be reached because there our servers are not running so let's open up let's start again apache server let's start database and let's write in and you can see that this site dashboard appeared again so some of you might ask why is this dashboard appears and this if i'm typing only in localhost why is this dashboard is appearing so first thing where you i will show you now where you can find the all your XAMPP environment just open any folder guys and go to this pc this is your pc just click here on this pc on the left hand side guys and once you are here you will see this local disk c just click into this and you will see here folder XAMPP and as you remember if you as you can see here on the top if we click on the right in this bar you will see that we are in C column and backslash and you see that our folder is here and in this one folder is all your XAMPP installed guys all your files in future whenever you will want to work with any websites will be located in htdocs i will show you where it is guys as you can see currently always you uh, currently we are in XAMPP let's just click into this XAMPP and here you will see folder htdocs and like i mentioned there is also php here you can find here php here in XAMPP folder somewhere there is php as you can see folder support and there is mysql support as you can see another folder but all your files for all your projects which you are creating which you are writing in your php you will always be able to find in these ht docs and that's where you are actually saving everything for your projects so let's go in and here you see folder dashboard and this is uh, what you see here whenever you are entering localhost okay you are always getting redirected to dashboard so the, and the answer why we are getting uh, redirected there is as you know guys whenever you are accessing any folder first file which 
system reads is index file whether it's index html if it's uh, applies to html or if whether it's index js if it is uh, with javascript but with php it is index.php so you might ask why we are not seeing this but why we are getting straight away in this dashboard so to answer this question we need to open this file index.php to do this we click on index.php right click and edit with notepad plus plus and this is exactly why we installed notepad and here you can see code it says if if, if it's not empty server https blah 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 what is php doing pretty much it is redirecting us to location url and dashboard and to not be redirected there guys all you you can you can comment this piece of code out or you can delete it all together if you want i'm always deleting this file all together but i will comment it out by using php commenting forward slash uh, star sign and at the very end exit column you can see i will add another star sign and forward slash and now this comment uh, this is commented out and let's save this guys and if we will go back now to localhost without dashboard okay with simply localhost it says something is wrong with XAMPP installation and this is also coming from this file as you can see something is wrong with installation we can write here uh, whatever we want blah 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 whatever it will anyway be executing this index file like i said guys first file in folder which is accessed is index dot index file whether it with html like i said it would be index.html with javascript it would be like index.js with uh, php in our case it is index.php and if we now write this blah 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 we save it collect control save if we go back to our browser we open it up we go into localhost we see blah 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 because this is returned from that file like i said guys what i always do is i delete this dashboard altogether just click click on it or you can right click on this and simply delete it because i don't need that dashboard and i right click on this index file i will close it first guys and i will delete it as well because i am not using it and i will show you why and i'm making this video more advanced guys more into details exactly because of you guys who are new to this video and who want to understand everything in details and more you have a more clarity and after this video you will understand everything about these folders about this environment about this system and that's my purpose what i want to deliver with this video that's why i'm going through these servers as well not straight away to wordpress because it is very important for new people who are creating websites to understand environment because in my case when i started learning years ago guys for me it was very complicated for example if you just show me with the system you showed me how to install but i don't understand after where can i manage all these files where are my files located and so on and so forth and this is the only reason why i make my videos or my uh, tutorials so complicated guys. Uh, loads of things to smaller details so next thing what i we will delete is this index file and it will not be redirecting it us to anywhere and it will not be deleting and now pay attention that there is eimg folder webilizer folder exam folder and all these other couple of files favicon and so on and so forth now if we will go to localhost we see all our folders we see this applications.html we see exactly the same what we have here in this folder and this was this is how i prefer keeping my environment so let's start from the very beginning guys a little bit i will go now into this pc to find this folder you go to local disk c and then you will see this XAMPP folder and the example like i said is everything what is located in XAMPP. this control panel comes from there php language comes from there and my sql database also comes from there there is many more things filezilla and perl but this is what we are not going to work with that's why i'm talking only about apache server and apache server is required to run php language and php language is in which wordpress is built php is backend language and and my sql database this is storage for your data and now if you would want to access for example your mysql database you go localhost forward slash php 
my admin okay click uh, local host forward slash php my admin and here you go guys this is your user interface for my sql database now we will be creating first database so go into databases and here we specify database name and i will call it test and in database name creation for example if you are creating database name you use underscore test underscore db so this will be called test db which we will be using and create database database test db created and to check if your database has been created you can go here on home as you can see here under the title php my admin there is home icon and you can see test db is created another way how you can see your database is, is under this title php my admin you see home icon just click on it and here you will see in this navigation bar databases just click on databases which is first tab here you will see your test underscore db database is created and never delete any or other of these databases guys because these are structural databases if you delete will delete any other of these guys you will pretty much break your database so always know which databases you are creating and never delete those which are which are here default databases this is another thing to know about php my admin so we create the test underscore db and now next thing what we will be doing we will be installing our wordpress website in xamp ht docs is here we'll leave all our applications in future guys whatever we will be creating they will be here so to get application here we need to go into downloads as you remember in our downloads we downloaded wordpress as you can see this one and i will be using winrar to extract it so double click on this winrar opens up and i click on extract to and if you don't have winrar you can also go and install it online program which you can use so extract to and we will be going to this piece this pc as you can see local disk c as you remember and here is xamp click into exam and ht docs and if you want to extract into this ht docs folder you just highlight it you don't need to go into it or you don't have to go into it just highlight it and click ok and it will extract this wordpress into that ht docs folder and once this done you can close this then we go back into this pc we go into local disk we go into exam and we go into ht docs and you will find your wordpress here here and i will change title you can change this title because here will here can be many wordpress applications you can work on many wordpress applications and in this one folder will be only that application with which we will be working so i will call this wordpress site you can call it also however you want i will call it test uh, however let's not call it test let's call it wolf okay i will call it wolf simply and now if we will go back into localhost uh, open any tab go into local host okay you will see that here is our wolf just click on this and it will open this application installation page guys like i just showed you you will be going into localhost and all your applications will be here and you can easily open any wordpress site or any application you are working with let's go into wolf now and let's start installation first page this is setup page guys here you can select language i will be leaving with english click continue and it will prompt me that i will need to install database i will say yes let's go let's install because my database is already installed and as you remember we created database test underscore db so here we will add test underscore db okay and username will be root if you haven't set up in your local environment any username for specific database in production environment you will always will have to set up username for specific database for specific website and this is for security purposes so all your websites don't have the same username and all your websites don't have the same password guys because 
uh, if hackers hack your website one website is they don't have access to all other website databases that's why for each specific user you can set up uh, for specific application you can set up user and we can do it here on php my admin but i will not be doing this you can set up user and you can give uh, uh, permissions to that user and so on and so forth but i will not be doing it in this video guys so we will be using like username root because anyway i'm the developing on my local environment and nobody has access to it and you don't have to worry that someone will hack you because it's impossible to hack you when you are working on your local environment if you have seen some developers are showing uh, in their tutorials that oh th this is what i'm going to change but guys this is nonsense if they would be programmers just like me i'm a programmer software engineer guys then you would know that this is impossible to hack you hack your computer and hack your applications by knowing these usernames because if i will hack your computer i will hack everything with what is on your computer any application guys so next thing uh, password we will not have password because we didn't set up any user and we didn't set up any password that's why we will not have any password and here database host will be local host because we are using it locally guys and if it lives on the same server guys that's why it is local host you could create database on some other server for example in some hosting or on another server then here you would add pip address and table prefix leave, leave vp and click submit guys and all right sparky this means that that wordpress have found this database and knows that there is such a database with such a username and his it says run installation it still requires some information like site title i will call it wolf you can call it however you want username i will give it a wolf username in password you can use however password you want when i'm working locally i'm using simple password so it will be wolf and here i will need to check confirm use of weak password guys because if i will be sending this pro project or this application to some production or some hosting where i'm really hosting i can always change all these details and for me for my own convenience for my working environment i'm using weak passwords on my local environment where i am the only developing website and your email i will give some uh, wolf doesn't matter at wolf.com and click install wordpress guys and now it will be installing tables and installing all these details our password and so on and so forth and wordpress has been installed thank you and enjoy so now let's go back to php my admin to our database let's click in date test underscore db and as you can see we uh, wordpress has created here tables and these tables will include all information about as you can see vp users here you will see there is one user user login wolf and user password is encrypted guys and you can unencrypt it and change this password if you want and i will also show you this in one of my future videos as i will not have time to do it in this video as this video was only about setting up or creating wordpress site so username wolf and password is also wolf so login here we have wolf in our case and here we have wolf and we click sign in and our website has been created click save and here by clicking on this wolf your website name guys you can see that this is your website and from here you can create how many websites you want for example if you would want to change the design of this website you go into appearance themes and you can search for and click here add new at the top and here you can find a lots of different themes for example different looks for your website for example we could install this one okay let's install this uh, this is only we are changing the look of our website so it is installed we click activate and once this theme is activated we go back to our wordpress website we refresh and it will have totally different look as you can see this has here the social icons it has different other things here on this theme guys so yes 
I hope that you found this video useful guys and if you did please subscribe and help me grow my channel guys and ask for more information whatever you want in regards to web development in programming and anything in, the, in comments of this video as I will be creating more videos on WordPress on web development on programming on this channel tech wolf so yes guys if you found this useful leave a like share this video subscribe to my channel if you are new and see you in the next one